Here's a word of comfort to every golfer. When the bunker is deep as a coal mine, or you're on safari in the rough, your golf ball feels it too. It may look hard and cold and quite unfeeling, but as a matter of fact, it really is soft at heart. For the centre of most modern golf balls is a paste-like liquid, enclosed in some form of rubber covering. The weight of the paste depends on whether the ball is to conform to royal and ancient or to American standards. The English ball must not weigh more than 1.62 ounces, and incidentally must not be smaller in diameter than 1.62 inches. Here you see the covering being made, in this case of rubber treated with a latex solution. The bag is shaped like a small balloon. The paste is blown in and the bag is securely tied to prevent leakage. Around the bag are wound many layers of rubber tape and thread, all under a very high degree of stretch. The windings make up the hard core and give the ball its resilience, which is reflected in the long flight of the ball off the club. The first few layers are applied by hand, as the unbound centre is too soft to be wound by machine. When it is sufficiently rigid, the machine takes over the winding operation. After each stage, the core is examined and tested to see that the correct hardness has been obtained. To ensure a good anchorage of the cover to the core, the latter is covered with a thin layer of the covering material dissolved in petroleum spirit. The cover material is then moulded into shapes of the required size and weight and two hemispheres are placed around the cores. Cover and cores are then united under controlled heat and pressure. Excess cover material is trimmed off and the ball is ready for painting and so to the open fairway. <laughs>